How you doing folks? I'm Gary and this is The Kilted Drummer. First time popping on the channel um, and you want to help us grow the channel, after watching this video, if you like what you see, consider hitting the subscribe button and giving us a wee thumbs up and uh, that will help us move forward. So here we are again back in the dining room and as you know with the uh, dining room drums what we like to do is look at some of the uh, miniatures and samples that I've got lying around in the dining room. I wasn't really sure which one I was going to do tonight so what I did was put a wee post onto uh, social media with a little poll and I stuck on two of the uh, miniatures that I had lying around, uh, our bag 10 and uh, been having 12 um, and on that poll um, you all voted for the uh, been having 12 so what we're going to do is get this one cracked, get it in the glass. Hands are a bit sticky. I'll be honest, oh, about half an hour ago I was giving the, uh, <laughs> the I was giving the missus a, a wee foot rub because I'm nice like that. And uh, my hands are still a wee bit slippy from all the moisturiser. I have washed them. They're still slippy. Right, so we'll get this in the glass. So we'll let that one settle. Okay, Boon Haven uh, Distillery over on Isla. Um, a lot of you'll know that a lot of the uh, Isla whiskies are peated. Uh, Boon Haven is one of those distilleries that tend to put out unpeated uh, whiskey. Unusual for Isla, but it's uh, it, it happens. Boon Haven Distillery is owned by the South African Distill Group. Um, been around since the uh, mid 1800s, so yeah, uh, there's a, a sort of good history there with the distillery. Let's have a wee smell, see how it's going. It's quite fresh smelling, um, 12 year old, so it's, it's still got that youthful side to it, but 12 year old, that's not bad. Um, it's quite sweet. It definitely got that, um, there's a bit of a, a maritime air about it, that maybe a bit of uh, brininess, uh, kind of been on, the, been on the beach maybe. Maybe even a bit of seaweed, you know, your, your seaweed on your pebbles, wet pebbles, that sort of salty air, it's quite nice. Now I think this, uh, 46 percent i think i'll just double check that one really should put the glasses on yeah 46.3 percent so there's a it's a good uh good bit of bite about it yeah it's like a, i think maybe in my even the last one i last video i talked to about it, there being an almost a conflict between sweet and sort of savoury and um, I think there's a little bit of that there as well sort of a sweet but salty edge to it in this one quite like that it's fresh it feels um, springy almost give me a taste quite a nice oily mouthfeel to that I quite like that quite creamy You know, that sort of creaminess, it's soft, there's no harshness about it. Um, hint of sherry, dark fruit sort of thing. Maybe old raisins, sort of fruit cake type uh, fruit, sultanas. Nice. Again, that coastal layer, that maritime air, salty, briny. There's no burn to it for 46.3, no burn at all on that. Maltiness there, just on that second sip there, getting a malt. 
shadiness and sweet. I think I kind of like that sweet, savoury, sweet, salty sort of. It's not a fight, but they're they're definitely they don't combat each other, but they don't um, um, they don't combine either. They're just both there, quite nice. You get them at both at different times. Maybe even a, on the finish, maybe a sort of a sweet coffee. Cappuccino that's uh, had too much sugar put in it, maybe something like that. It's nice, there's a, there's a good there's a good feeling of balance to it. As I said, that sweet, that saltiness, the creaminess, slight oiliness. Maybe even a nutty edge towards the end on the finish. Um, I've had other uh, Buna Havens. I think there's a there's a Strudador sitting up there. I've had uh, the 18 as well. First time I've actually had the 12. Um, it always appeared a bit young for me at times. Um, but no, I quite like that. That's uh, quite pleasant. And I just, I think it shows you as well that if you're looking at Isla whiskies, you don't always have to go for a peated whiskey. There are whiskies if you look out on Isla that are not influenced heavily by peat. Um, and I think Bunhavens uh, kind of appeals to me that way. Um, really quite nice, guys. If you uh, get a wee chance, maybe have a look at uh, looking at some of the Bunhavens. Maybe starting on the 12, working your way from there. I think it hits in at maybe about the 38 to 40 pound range. So it shouldn't be too uh, difficult to pick up and uh, quite easy on the pocket. Slange, you guys. Cheers. Bye.